All right, just bought this 1995 Bronco. There's some straight sheet metal on it. <laughs> Not much. She's got 456 gearing and a Detroit locker. It's got the ZF transmission with the, uh, the lowest gears they made. So it's going to be a project, but I'm excited. Let's get her home. Alright, so got the Bronco, got insurance, so I'm gonna type in uh, an address and we'll try to get here on the get home on the back roads. I noticed that the new exhaust is not connected to the muffler. What the heck is up with that? All right, so basically I took this guy off its hangers. At the tailpipe there's also a hanger that I loosened. And so you could see before it was up here, a little higher. And that's because the hangers were pulling the, the tailpipe section up. And what I'm gonna do is cut off the hangers and I will re-weld them in place when we get to that point. Um, then I'm going to make a cut he um, here, um, a little bit closer to uh, the bend where it goes over the axle. Um, and that's where we'll put the exhaust flanges. And then I'll do the same, I'll make a cut up here as well. Because um, I really want to be able to get this muffler off and weld this well. Um, so once this is tacked, um, I'll make the cut and then weld on the flanges because it'll, this will uh, this side will be kind of supported, um, so it'll be easier to just do one cut at a time. And then I'll cut our flanges on it, and I can actually completely remove this once it's um, everything's tacked in to get that final flange on there well. And same for uh, the the muffler portion as well. Uh, and then. Um, I will re-weld these guys on, um, and again I can, uh, you know, get those welded on good and take it off. Then on this side, um, I can't really take the whole exhaust off because it's all again one piece from there, um, and so getting this welded on uh, the engine side is going to be difficult. Um, so I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna I'm gonna weld the outside, uh, like a few tacks, and then I'm gonna try to seal it from the inside because I can access the inside pretty well. So we'll see how that works. Um, hopefully that will work okay. All right. So the easy part's done. I got my lines marked. I use painter's tape to try to get as uh, square of a line as I could. Um, I cut the hangers off here. You can see where they're supposed to go. I'll remount those when the time comes. And I got the other mark as well marked. All right, so I was having trouble um, getting these on the exhaust. They kind of slide on the outside, you can see. Um, and I was trying to grind out the inside, but they were close enough to where I could just take a hammer and tap them on there. And so I think that'll actually be advantageous. So I'm getting this just flush with this portion here, or maybe just a little bit past flush, and then I'll bolt them together and they'll kind of hold themselves in there and I can tack them in. And then when I take them off, I can actually hold them in. All right, so now I got the, uh, the front tacked in and I got the back tacked in and the hangers tacked in and their new 
location that was less strain on the exhaust. So I'm gonna unbolt the center section and the tail portion and that way I can weld those in good. And while I have the welder out here, I'm gonna try to weld um, the engine side of this first flange up as good as I can from underneath the car. thing tacked up, uh, I can go ahead and weld it all up and make sure that none of the, um, the exhaust is protruding the flange first and then um, grind up any inside burrs just to kind of help that flow. Um, and then yeah, weld it all up. Alright, so she's looking pretty good. Got her hangers on there. This guy's welded back on. And uh, other side's on there good. And then I made sure that this is flush of the surface so that um, we can make a good seal. Um, so we'll paint her up, all the spots that we welded, and reinstall. So. Alright, so here's exhaust from front to back. In the next episode, we'll be tackling one of this Bronco's other problems. Thanks for watching.